Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm gonna be testing Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age on the GeForce GTX 1050 Di. I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p to skip turn up those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. Thanks to Square Enix for providing a copy of this game. For 1080p I'll show you two configurations, first trying to be over 50 frames per second, which really destroys the visuals of the game, I'll talk more about that later in the video, and then I'll just crank up the settings to the max to see what frame rate we get. Then I do the same on 900p, I show you two configurations, one trying to be over 30, the other targeting 50 to 60, and finally at 720p by just using the maximum settings we are able to maintain very smooth frame rates, hitting most of the time 60 frames per second, except in some places where there's a lot of foliage. The biggest performance hit so far was in certain places where there's a ton of foliage, plus some unusual draw distances. You'll see that in my footage sometimes I stop and look far into the distance in purpose to show you the performance hit. Not a big deal if you ask me, but the performance hit is there, so yeah, be aware of that. As you'll see on all my videos testing this game, I'm only using the G4560, that's because because this game is more GPU bound. By using a better CPU I didn't see any major differences in performance, I just saw some spikes in the CPU usage while traversing through certain areas, it seems that the game is loading the rest of the level, if it's a very big section. At that moment you get like 1 or 2 seconds of frame time spikes, the CPU usage goes to 100%, then it goes back down instantly and it runs the same as I'm showing you here. So yeah, if you have a better CPU you shouldn't be seeing any major differences. In the options menu the biggest performance difference I saw was by lowering the shadow quality, you can even turn them off if you want, but I recommend lowering them to 2 or 1 if you're getting performance issues in big areas. This affects the shadow resolution, distance and amount. By lowering it to 2, it already destroys the draw distance of the shadows. In some areas you can see that the shadows are being generated a few meters in front of your character, which really destroys the visuals of the game, if you ask me, but it's a massive FPS boost in many cases. Then the post-processing quality, by directly turning that off, you get a decent FPS boost, but again this greatly affects the visuals of the game. By turning this option off, the colors look very washed out, and there's no ambient occlusion. Mainly the color is what makes it look the worst in that case, but you get a decent FPS boost if you're trying to get higher frame rates. And then on the anti-aliasing quality, I didn't see much of a difference between one and the highest. The biggest difference was when it was turned off or turned on, so I recommend you play a little bit with that. From one to the highest, there wasn't a huge performance difference, maybe one or two frames. But yeah, that's pretty much the options menu. I highly recommend you use B-Sync, but from the NVIDIA control panel, the adaptive B-Sync. That's because the B-Sync in this game is very aggressive, so if you're close to maximum GPU usage, sometimes the game can stutter a little bit. Just use the NVIDIA control panel for that. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, the game is kept at 60 frames per second, you can control the frame rate target in the options menu. So the usual options for Unreal Engine 4 games, shadows and post-processing are the biggest impacts, but in this case usually destroy the aesthetics of the game. Personally, I don't think you need to play this at 60 frames per second, this game is turn-based, so you're not actually doing precise aiming or doing very fast battles like on a Dark Souls game. So in this case, between 30 and 60 I don't really mind too much, so in my opinion just crank up the settings, enable B-Sync, so you get the best visual and that's pretty much my opinion on the matter. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time! want some.
Another one? Hmm. <laughs> 